Morning guys, today I want to take us through a process of electrolysis. I use electrolysis for removing rust from different artifacts that are found and so on. So today we're just going to use these two screws, which are quite, quite a bit of rust on them, not too much, but I'm just going to clean them up and, and then at the end I'm going to basically show you how I preserve them with either wax or a varnish and you can see the results at the end and you can decide which way you would like to do yours. First thing you need though is an electrolysis bath and I'm going to show you my one which I've made and if you look on the website you will find a tutorial on how I made mine. But basically it's an ice cream container and if you look inside it's as you can see it packs away very nicely. There's basically a a bar which holds the artifacts for electrolysis and then of course you've got your your power supply I use a 12 volt power supply because I find that 12 volts seems to work pretty quickly and generally to me it's done a good job so but other people do use less of and some people use more but for my experiments 12 volts is more than enough the next stage obviously is the bath. Uh, this bath I made up a while back and it basically consists of an ice cream container and inside there's a metal plate that goes right the way down and across the bottom. And just to insulate your artifacts from touching that plate I've put a, another ice cream piece of a container inside with little holes and obviously your items will rest on there and it won't short circuit. The bar is, it sits basically inside, it goes through the ice cream container and basically sits like that with the items attached to the crocodile clips. Your items are always negative and your plate is always positive. If you reverse those two you generally find that you're going to be doing electroplating so, and since as we're not doing electroplating, we want to remove items, so we switch them around. So it's negative on the item, positive on the plate. You can always tell if you go it the right way around, because when you switch on the power, the items being cleaned will basically bubble. So let's get started. What I'm going to do is attach the items to the crocodile clips, and just twist them around a bit just to make sure you get a really good connection same with this one and then from there we're going to take water fill it into the bath I normally use a jug of water it's enough and then a tablespoon of salt. Salt is what gives a bit of conductivity into the water. So put that in and just give it a, a little bit of a stir. That should be enough. And then we place the items you're going to be clean into the solution. So remembering to keep keep them separate from each other because you don't want them shorting and again it's positive on the plate negative on the items to be cleaned up and then it's a matter of just switching on the power As I said, you, you'll see that the items will start fizzing. You can see the bubbles on this one, for instance. It's very really strong. And this one's starting to bubble, so the connections are fine. I'm going to leave that now for about half an hour, and, and then I'm going to come back and I'll show you from there what's, what it looks like and what's happening. Okay guys, half an hour is up now and as you can see the 
things still bubbling away, the water's getting more dirtier and yeah it's not quite done yet but you know we'll we'll see how it how it goes. Uh, I would say another half an hour and then we'll take it out and have a, a good look at the stuff and see what it looks like. So I'll see you again in half an hour. Okay guys, it's now about an hour or so that's since we started. Um, you can still see it bubbling away nicely. So what we're going to do now, we're going to take off the power and I'm going to quickly scrub down the items and see how they look. You will notice that when I wash it that quite a bit of the rush will come up. It's just a little wire brush that I've got. I don't normally take 100% of the rust off because it's especially on items that are have been in the ground for many years. If you take all the rust off, then you're going to lose off the items. Uh, you just got to do what you can, and then it's going to look good. There you, go. you can see it looks pretty pretty decent now. Let's grab the next one. You can actually see the the metal. And just for the, your info, these screws actually came from one of the Boer War sites in South Africa. Now, whether they're actually a part of the site or not, I'm not too sure. So, if they are, then they're actually over a hundred years old. But I'm. Um, like I said, I'm not too sure, so I'm not going to guarantee that. See, so it's not looking too bad. Okay, so there we go. That's the electrolysis that's been done now, and as you can see, it's some part silver on this one. So on. this one's looking also cleaned up quite nicely. So basically all I'm going to do now is I'm going to dry it off and and then we'll get down to the the final stage of preserving to stop uh, further on to show you is how to use lacquer on an item just to help preserve and what I've got is a a, a bag tie here which I just put around the item just give it a little twist just to hold it and here I've got a, a tin of clear lacquer spray and you know you have to give it a, a good shake to just to mix it but uh, which I've already pre-done so but anyway yeah and then I'll just give it a a light spray Make sure it covers everywhere, and that's it. So that's that's your your lacquer spray, and and then you just got to show you how I do the waxing side of, of the restoration. What I do is I I heat up the the artifact to be coated. Just remember guys we are playing with fire so take it easy and don't burn yourself. It is hot and wax is hot. Once you've got enough heat on it then it's just a matter of rubbing the wax on. What I do is I use candle wax and but some people they prefer to use beeswax or something but I find candle wax is fine does the same job and yeah and then what I do afterwards is I just give it a good heat just to melt the wax over the item get an even distribution 
just shake it up a little bit again watch like you don't burn yourself and and then it's a matter of letting it cool down so we'll leave it for a while just to cool down and and that's basically all right. the finished products um, this one is the one that's been waxed and this is the one that's been varnished and just having a, a, a look at them you can't really tell much difference um, but they both do the same job so what will happen now is this will putting that coating on actually stops it from rusting any further so therefore your artifacts will look good for a long time downsize of wax is that after time the heat of the day can cause the wax to melt a bit and maybe also collect a little bit of dust whereas the varnish will will just stay as it is but yeah both of them do a good job and and I've had good results on all what I have found is like on horseshoes is I prefer the wax finish because it slightly darkens the metal so yeah anyway it's your for you to decide and thanks for watching this video and I hope that you've learnt something from it